McDonald's reported first quarter results before the opening bell. The fast food chain operator topped Wall Street's expectations despite concerns around rising costs. Let's get to Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma for the investor takeaways from the earnings call. Brooke. That's right. Good morning. Well, the number to remember here is 12.6. Across mm. the board, we saw same sort of sales rise 12.6. And my vibe check overall pretty good quarter for McDonald's here. They did, in fact, grow market share in chicken. They reiterated that people are buying Big Macs, and they even alluded to that recent revamp that they did of their burger lineup, adding and boosting sales most recently for that burger lineup. Now, intraday trading here stopped down nearly 1%, so Wall Street's reaction sort of mixed here, going down as we make way into the trading day. But executives reiterating that the company expects a recession later on this year in both Europe and challenging environment, uh, sorry, challenging environment in Europe and a mild recession here in the U.S., so possibly alluding to that lower uh, share price here in intraday trading. Now, my three tap takeaways here is consistency. As I reiterated at the top, 12.6 was that number that we saw uh, in terms of same-source sales growth here in the U.S. In addition to that, both international markets saw same-source sales go up 12.6. And the company alluding that a lot of this was execution about how they thoughtfully pass along those raised, uh, increased rather, menu prices. They continued to reiterate that their marketing efforts, core menu items, as well as the way in which they drove or or planning to drive growth in terms of drive through and delivery continue to show results in terms of customers going to McDonald's for value offerings. They also emphasize that digital efforts there and the way that they're able to interact more directly puts them in a better position this time around as opposed to previous macroeconomic environments that were challenging. And in addition to that, we also saw accelerating the organization. We got more insight on the call as to how much they incurred because of that recent layoffs in early April. That was a $180 million charge. CFO alluded to the fact that that was um, related to terminating leases and employee severance packages. And so lots of insight received on the McDonald's call. And certainly consumers still going to the big uh, golden archers, rather, in times of this um, macroeconomic environment. Did they give more color about consumer behavior, not just whether they're going, right. but what traffic trends look like, what they're spending it on, et cetera? Yes, the CEO, Chris Kimchensky, did in fact emphasize that on the call, that they are seeing some consumer trends Here's what he had to say. We are seeing a slight decrease in units per transaction. So uh, things like, you know, did someone add fries to their order? Uh, how many items are they buying per order? We're seeing that uh, go down uh, in most of our markets uh, around the world slightly, but it's still going down. Uh, and then the other thing is we continue to monitor very closely uh, the acceptance of our pricing. I'm really proud of how our system has executed pricing in, in light of the uh, double-digit inflation that we have uh, been experiencing. But uh, we, we are seeing, uh, in some places, resistance to pricing, more resistance than we saw uh, at the outset. Well, one thing that executives did emphasize, in fact, is that in good times or bad times, McDonald's does do well, and they expect to push through this challenging environment and for consumers to continue to go to the Golden Arches.